Hello from the Heart Families, this is Kanitha, here to present the final part to family engagement. Today we're going to focus on staying connected while youth are incarcerated. So if you have a son or a daughter that's incarcerated, I hope that you can use these suggestions during your journey and during their journey. I'm going to use a book to help me. It's called Doing Time with My Son. It's a dialogue between a mother and a son. In these pages, I read that times are going to be hard. Things are going to happen over and over again. But you have to stay connected and stay encouraged. Your youth need you. The first tip is stay in touch. Anyone can imagine the loneliness people feel while incarcerated. It's important to keep the communication positive, honest, and consistent. Send cards, accept calls, and visit as often as possible. If calls present a financial hardship for you, then talk about when and how often for them to call. If you can't show up for a visit, send a positive influence in your place. So the first quote I'm going to read to you from the author is, I believe in the importance of having communication from home to jail. My thought process was that as long as you were still being updated as to what was going on with the family, you would have you would have hope that when you did come home, you'd be able to pick up with us and move forward. I wanted you to know that you still had a home and a family that loved you. So again, it's important it's important to stay connected with your youth. It's going to sustain them from the time that they're in and even beyond. Tip or suggestion number two, youth need to know their worth. From the book, now I know for sure that every sleepless night I endured was worth it. It's a fight I would do over again if I had to. One of the things that kept me going was my belief that you needed to know that you were worth fighting for. That no matter how many times you chose poorly, turned down the wrong world, or broke my heart, I couldn't give up on you, not even if I wanted to. Hang in there with them. They may make mistakes over and over again, but stay encouraged and let them know that you love them and let them know that they have worth. Suggestion number three, set boundaries. Lay a solid foundation at home, even after the transition back into the home. The foundation starts at home and the family and the people you allow in it. If a criminal is, if a criminal is giving your child advice, then they may be a criminal. Remove any obstacles in the home and as best as possible, outside of the home. Next tip, keep your composure, AKA get your life. There will be days when you wanna give up. One week you may get a good report, and the next week they got into a fight or got into some alter altercation. Some days will be harder than others, but it's important to keep it together. Quote, what kept me going was even though I was losing battles with you every day, I refused to lose the war. I knew that I couldn't give up on you. I could not go on. I knew that if I let myself fall apart, then there was no way we were both coming out of this mess in one piece. I had to fight through it. And believe me when I tell you it was a fight. I really don't know how I got through it. All I know was that if I didn't, you wouldn't. So I did what I had to do." End quote. Next suggestion. Who is your ace or have an ace? Have someone that you can depend on. Connect with someone, whether it's a relative or a close friend. Somebody that you can confide in. Someone with positive vibes, but, it's all, but, it's all, but that's also authentic. A good source would be someone that knows the ins and outs of the justice system or who may have had a kid in, the, in custody. Quote, I was basically on my own through all of this, except for grand support. Whatever went down with you, she was my road dog. All I had to do was pick up the phone, call grand and say, mom, I'm going to get him down at the station again, and without even missing a beat, she'd come pick me up. So have someone in your corner to help lift the weight off of you when times get hard. 
Next suggestion. It's a part of their journey. Some things are out of your control. Focus on what you can control and let life take, take its course. Sometimes we all need a time out, or in this case, a time in, to reevaluate what's going on in, our, on in our lives and find a purpose. Let your child know that you support them on their journey. Stay in touch and continue to express your love as often as possible. Quote, I, don't, I would always think, man, what are you doing to yourself? You need to get yourself together. But the thing is that I just didn't know how. It took prison for me to find myself again. It took jail for me to sit still long enough to figure it out. End quote. That was from the son. He was in and out of jail all his life. But it took that to help him get back on track. Finally, practice grace. We've all done something and said something that required our, that required our apology. Some of us have done things that would have gotten us locked up and we just didn't get caught. Or the judge showed grace. Remember that we have all had a second chance at something or another. And the mother in this book is a true definition of grace. No matter what her son did or how many times he did it, she never gave up. Find it in you to stick with your child. They are worth it. Again, the book is called Doing Time with My Son. It's by Betty Blaze and Terrence White. I suggest you get it. There's so many other resources in this book that you can use. But the most important thing is it shows the love that a mother has for her child and how she never gave up. She persevered. And because of that, I believe that that's the reason why her son is successful today. I hope you've enjoyed this four-part series on family engagement. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at info at fromthehearteducation.org. Again, this is Kanita. We'll see you soon.